I'm Cohen. And I'm Vaughn. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of April 24th, 2023. Let's get started. If your child plans on participating in athletics next year, there is an athletic physical night on Monday, May 8th at Clark Pleasant Middle School Fieldhouse from 6 to 8 p.m. If your child is leaving early for school, they need to have a note from the front office. Students, if you have a note to leave early, please drop it off in the, in the office during Pride. Again, parents of current 6th or 7th grade band or choir students, if your 6th or 7th grade student does not want to be in band or choir for the 2023-2024 school year, please email Ms. Marshall. Now let's go to the interview of the week, Top Trending in GMS Sports. Have a great week, everybody. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Maddie. And I'm Alyssa. Let's get started. Number one, according to Doggo News, a kind-hearted lady named Jen Ross was in her garage after working out at the gym August 22, 2002, and noticed some buckets flipped over in her garage. At first, she thought that it was her, just her cat named Coco chasing a bird that got in the garage. But when she went into her living room, she saw an adorable New Zealand seal. She tried to get the seal out of her house, but the seal was determined to stay an hour and a half longer before Jen was able to safely get the seal to leave. Later, uh, later on, the Ross family decided to keep the cute New Zealand seal. Her children were very excited about the new pet, but their cat thought otherwise. According to Sunny Sky News, University awards full scholarship to 13-year-old who sold tea to help earthquake victims. Benjamin Mahanovic built a tea stand to help earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria, and University gave him a full scholarship. He spent four hours each day selling tea at five cents. He raised $107 to buy toothbrushes, baby wipes, food, and more. On March 17th, the International University of Sarajevo, Sarajevo offered Benjamin a full scholarship. He is a little boy with a big heart. He is an example of human kindness should be in difficult moments, the university stated. It's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Hi GMS, welcome to sports and this week's home events. On Monday, April 24th, boys golf versus Clark Pleasant starting at 5 p.m. at GMS. Track and field versus Paul Hadley starting at 5.30 at GMS. Wednesday, April 26th, track and field versus Indian Creek at 5 p.m. at GMS. That's all for sports. Hello, welcome to GMS Roll Call. I'm Madison, and today we are asking, who's your favorite Disney character? My favorite Disney character is Ariel. My favorite Disney princess is Tiana, but my favorite character is Wally. Uh, my favorite character is Donald Duck. My favorite Disney character is Mike Wazowski. Um, my favorite Disney character is probably Stitch or Tinkerbell. My favorite Disney character is Stitch. My favorite Disney character is Abby Lee Miller. My favorite Disney character is Rapunzel. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's GMS weather forecast. This is the week of April 24th to April 28th. And 
On a Monday, it is partly cloudy with a high of 56 and a low of 38. This is a very average week. It's just going to be around uh, 50 or 60. Very low wind or precipitation, so like this is as average as it gets. Kind of boring, honestly. But Tuesday, uh, more high, so it's a little hotter and basically the same stats, but it might rain. Wednesday, it also might rain. Uh, 61 degrees, very similar to the day before, but with even more wind and precipitation. With Thursday, there is 60 degrees Fahrenheit and 44 degrees uh, low Fahrenheit. Wind is a little lower, precipitation is lower, so kind of like Monday, an average partly cloudy day. And then Friday is sad and cloudy, but it's Friday, so it's always exciting. You need to be off of school and stuff. So 61 degrees uh, Fahrenheit high, 48 low, and there's a 24 mile per hour wind with maybe a chance of precipitation, but probably not going to happen. That's all for whatever it is we got. Gotta go testing. <laughs>